What's going on guys? My name is Fake Thriller. Today I'm sitting here with Snoo603 and today we are doing a weapon review follow-up on the PKP. The purpose of this video is to discuss the post-patch changes and the way the, the gun plays now and sort of talk about our feelings and uh, our thoughts on the gun since the patch has come out and however many, however many months after the weapon review has been done. So I think what we'll cover first is the change the changes that have been made to the PKP and most notably has been a damage increase to 34 hit points of damage eight, out to 8 meters and then a minimum damage of 22 hit points of damage out to 60 meters. So it got a damage buff but it also got a recoil nerf I guess you could say and the recoil was increased as well. For those of you that have seen our previous review where we, you know, we did our official review of the PKP um, you will remember I was not very kind to this gun. I was certainly more kind to it with than the Type 88. He actually um, wasn't really kind to our eyes either. Oh, come because on. This is where we introduced to the concept of pump firing, which is the most sinful thing you can do in Battlefield 3. Yes, I actually haven't done it since then, but you know, you, you can't argue with the results. It did work, did it not? Uh, I, I disagree. I think it was sheer luck. Listen, doesn't matter how you get to the pot of gold as long as you get it. Yeah, whatever yep. you say. <laughs> um, so, finally going back and playing this gun post-patch, um, trying to be even more unbiased, I still stand by what I said before, that I, I went into that completely unbiased, and I, I do like it a little bit better with the changes from the patch. Uh, the gun plays a... I, I really don't know how to quantify this. It's, <laughs> it's still not a five-star gun. That I wholeheartedly agree with, I 100% believe in, and I 100% believe that a lot of people that think this gun is a five gun or five star gun are just fanboys. And you know, every single gun can be used by X amount of people. Some guns can be used by everyone and do really well with. Other guns, only a small percentage of people can really wreck with it because they totally understand the nuances of it. And to me, those type of guns, the latter of those, are not good guns because they're not versatile. When only a small group of people can do excellent with such a weapon, yeah. that's not versatile. What you're saying is just because you can make, or someone someone can make it work doesn't mean it's a good gun because what makes a, like a really good five-star gun is something that Joe Schmo can pick up and do well with. Exactly. Like To me, the M4A1 is probably one of the best guns in this game because it is completely versatile. Any player of any play style can pick up any uh, combination of attachments on an M4A1 and do well with it. That is a universal gun. It just it covers the battlefield from end to end. The PKP is good, but it is not the M4A1 or five star good. Uh, I do believe in my previous review I had given this gun a one out of five. I will revise that. I give the PKP a three out of five stars. Suited strictly for its role, which is to me extremely limited. It's a beast. Beyond that, fucking forget it. There's so many other guns out there, and specifically just LMGs, that can do much better in a more versatile sense than the PKP. Yeah, um, I, I believe I gave it a 5 out of 5. I think you did. Either 4 out of 5 or 5 out of 5. Regardless, you, you spoke very highly of this gun. Yeah, and I, I like the gun. I, I think it's fantastic, and uh, I absolutely wreck kids with it. But I understand what you're saying where... It's not for everyone, and it takes a lot of getting used to. And even once you get used to it, there's still situations you can find yourself in where it is unsuitable. Like if you're too close quarters or you're, you're in the middle of a sprint. The way this gun works best is if you are planted. If your feet are not moving, and uh, better yet, if you're prone, it works even better. Because you need to minimize the bullet spread that comes out of this gun because it has recoil for days. And bullet, <laughs> and bullet spread for weeks because uh, it, it just goes crazy. But it compensates for that with, with incredibly high damage output. Uh, so you're better off playing um, a, a far back support role, like I've said every other time we talk about a big boy LMG like this. Uh, but I understand what you're saying. It's not perfect for every person and it's not perfect for every situation. So... Uh, I do. I, I think it's a four out of five because I'm gonna I'm gonna save the five out of five for my absolute favorite in the class, and uh, and it's a gun, and this gun just doesn't it doesn't hit on all cylinders for everyone. So I think we can safely say that we're gonna revise the PKP 
rating down to a three and a half out of five. It's actually up from some crazy low rating because of your your bell curve there. Yep. Um, one last point I did want to make, and actually it was something that you just said. Um, as far as the, the PKP, kind of like other guns, like the AN-94, is one of those guns that, you know, again, only the select view can absolutely wreck with from uh, both ends of the battlefield. But it, there's a couple of nuances to it that require a little bit of time to get used to. And that's a lot of point. That, that, sorry, that's a point that a lot of people have brought up in the comments. Is like, oh, you just didn't give it enough time, or oh man, you just have to really understand the subtle nuances of how this gun handles to wreck with it. Again, that right there, that point, and those were almost direct quotes from people in the comments, repeated several times, nonetheless. <laughs> that defines a gun that is not versatile. Uh, again, that's the other side of what versatility is. Is a gun that you don't. There is no learning curve. You pick it up, and it's very easy to use. And maybe it's not even that it's easy to use, it's just, there's nothing crazy about it, it's not like, oh, well, you know, it's got this weird little thing about it that takes a while to get used to, but once you get past that, it's fucking awesome. That, that's not a versatile gun, because there's a distinct learning curve to it that makes it difficult for the masses to pick up. Right. So, and, and the PKP falls under that. Again, I'm not bashing it, I'm just saying, like, that's from a, a non-biased, like, trying to look at this as factual or fucking scientific, whatever the fuck you want to call it, point of view. The gun is not versatile. In its specific, very, very limited role, it's a beast. But right. beyond that, it, forget it. So with that limited role in mind, I think we should wrap this video up with uh, the two of us agreeing on probably the most ideal setup for this weapon. I think, um, and, and feel free to butt in, we're going to go with the bipod, right? Yeah, absolutely. Bipod is necessary because, like I said before, you want to, you want your feet planted on the ground. You want to make sure you're not moving at all, and you can't move when the bipod's deployed. Uh, so you'll you'll have that laser death beam accuracy, and it sort of makes you if you have the bipod equipped, it makes you play the gun the proper way. You're not going to be running up and getting into close quarters engagements trying to put your bipod out. Uh, as for a sight, I think it's I mean throw throw a dart at the wall right whatever you hit you can choose yeah, me your favorite site exactly me uh, me personally yeah me personally me personally i do not care for any of the um zoom scopes in this game I, they just i feel like they really limit my field of vision too much so i'm fine with just a regular holographic site or even a red dot site yep um and as far as when you do deploy the bipod my a little piece of advice that i'd give is is don't even look down down the sights like uh j just let the bipod do its work. You'll see your your uh, bullet spread indicator shrink and just fire technically what's from the hip at that point. Um, and then the final attachment, I think it's a toss-up between, what do you think, extended mags? I'm thinking extended mags and suppressor because when I, the, the only time I was able to really, you know, enjoy this gun was when I was doing just that, locking down um, somewhere prone or behind cover with the bipod and just letting it rip. Uh, extended mags is pretty sweet, but if you want to go for a little bit more subtlety, it's kind of hard to go for any th sort of subtlety whatsoever when you're using an LMG. I, I still actually enjoyed the suppressor. You, you can rip through those 100 rounds real quick, so be forewarned of that, but even with the suppressor, it was uh, very effective. I was surprised. Yeah, uh, I think I'd throw my vote towards the extended mags just because it, it does sound silly, but I found myself running dry well before I was wanting to when I didn't have extended mags on. Uh, so I would go with extended mags. And finally, when you're looking to use the PKP, I would I would recommend using it. Like, just pay attention to what map you're on. Try and go with, you know, Operation Metro or Grand Bazaar or something where you can really predict enemy movement. You don't want to be w using this gun on Caspian Border or anything that's too wide open, Gulf of Oman, large, or anything like that. All right, so that's pretty much a uh, re-review, a revisit, if you will, a follow-up to the PKP uh, post-patch. We gave you some of the info and our stats or our thoughts on the weapon itself in its current state. Uh, and if Snoo, if you don't have anything else to add, I think we might end the video here. Nope. Again, just a re-review. We've given it a three and a half out of five stars. I do believe the last review was either like a. Uh, two and a half or maybe upwards of a three but that was about it <laughs> alright guys thanks for watching the video and leave your thoughts on the PKP in its current condition in the comments below and uh, we'll see what the general consensus is we'll see you later 
Hey guys, check us out on Twitter at twitter.com slash fake thriller and twitter.com slash snoo603.